you guys, it's your girl T. And I want to talk about this really disturbing story. It's coming from Maryland, and basically it's about a 21-year-old DC rapper. His name was Keyway Ivory, and he went by the rap name Kilo. So what went down is that Kilo was on his rap video shoot. Um, supposedly they had a real gun there. Somehow while he was shooting the video, the gun went off, and this young man was killed. I want you guys to check out this news clip, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Another fatal situation. An aspiring rapper was killed while making a music video and the murder weapon is believed to be a gun that was used as a prop. Now, this all happened just after 10 last night near 62nd Place and Eastern Avenue in Seat Pleasant. It's a story Maryland Bureau Chief Brad Bell broke first on Saturday. He's now live near the scene with what he's learned. Brad, what's the latest? Well, Leon, it happened 10 o'clock last night, as you said, all quiet here now, but this was the scene and the set for that music video down there in that alley. It was lights and cameras, most likely cell phone cameras. And then a gunshot, and the star of the video is found dead in the parking lot right over here. Police are trying to find out what on earth happened to this aspiring star. In dozens of music videos posted to YouTube, 21-year-old Kiwi Ivy performing as Kilo, raps about guns and violence, his way, according to his friends, to encourage peace. People might look at some of the videos or things that might be on his channel and say, oh, well, I don't know, but this is urban life, and in order to make a way out, sometimes you have to tell the story. So he was like our personal Spike Lee. Last night, Kilo Ivy is filming in this alley between an apartment and a shopping center in Seat Pleasant. He's starring in and directing another of his videos. Videos, videos on his mind. All he wanted to do was edit videos, come home, play basketball, eat, and do another video. At least 20 people are involved. According to sources, a gun, likely being used as a prop, goes off. Ivy is hit and killed. The cast and crew scatter. Police find Ivy alone in the parking lot. Many now being questioned by detectives who want to know if Kilo Ivy's death was an accident or a murder. The latter, a possibility Ivy's brother can't imagine. He never bothered nobody for real. My brother's a person who stayed to himself. We're doing what he loved, man. That was his dream. That's what he loved, man. Well, just about three hours ago, police did do a search warrant in this apartment building. We don't know which unit, and we don't know exactly what they were looking for. But sources have told us that police have every reason to believe that whatever happened here was captured on camera. After all, at the moment the death happened, they were shooting a video. And see Pleasant Brad Bell, ABC 7. So you guys just watched that news clip. First of all, why was the news reporter throwing so much shade? I just love how the newsman was throwing all that damn shade. He was like, they had lights, cameras, most likely cell phone cameras. I'm like, really? You gonna throw shade at a moment like this? So this whole situation just bothers me. This is why I tell folks that you really have to know who your friends are. I feel so bad for this young man. You know, one, he's rapping about drugs and violence. They're saying that he's keeping it real about what's going on in his neighborhood, what's going on where he lives. But this is where keeping it real goes wrong. First of all, if you're at a video shoot, why would they have a loaded gun there? If anything, they could use a fake gun as a prop. The thing that bothers me the most with this entire story is that he was there with about 20 or so people. This was his crew. These were so-called fans. These were so-called people who were there to support him and be in this video. But once this young man got shot, they all scattered like roaches. And now nobody is speaking. Nobody knows anything. You know what I'm saying? All of this was being filmed on tape. It's clearly apparent that this whole thing was caught on videotape. Nobody has submitted to the police. Nobody has come forward with any information. And this is why I tell you that a lot of times you have to be really, really careful who your friends are and be real careful with who you surround yourself with. You know what I'm saying? You have to cut your grass and look for snakes. I feel like this was either a setup or this was a hater that was in the crowd trying to act like he was down for him and one of his friends and that he acted shot him on purpose you know because the whole situation makes no sense how they shoot in a music video all of a sudden the main person gets shot and everybody just scatters nobody stayed with him this young man died there on that street by himself not 
one person stayed by his side. You know, this is just really, really sad. I just really wish that a lot of young men out here would find something more positive to rap about than selling drugs and killing and gang violence. Sometimes what you rap and talk about can manifest into reality, and this might be one of those situations. You know, rest in peace to this young man. Nobody deserves to be killed like that in that manner. Nobody deserves to die alone in that manner. So this is really, really sad because he had his whole life ahead of him, and now, you know, he's dead and gone. So anyways, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation. How do you feel about everybody leaving? this young man once the shots rung out and how do you feel about them even bringing loaded guns to this video shoot and who do you think is responsible for this do you think it was an accident do you think it was a setup let's go ahead and get the discussion popping all right deuces hey youtube it's your girl lovely t and you can show me some love by hitting that subscribe button watching my previous videos and following me on social media <laughs>